everyone is going absolutely crazy over this new app called Font Frame in Canva. That's where I created this word with the background of cookies. Watch me make it in Canva, and then you can tell me what you think. Welcome back, my friends. I'm back with another kooky tutorial. Kooky or cookie? I don't know. Anyhow, my vision for this tutorial was to create a clipping mask out of cookies. Now, keep in mind, we don't have to create our own background. We can use a background that's already in Canva, either a background or an element that's a photo for the font frame app. In fact, you can even upload an image to use with font frame. So I didn't want to waste a lot of your time, but I do, did want to explain my process for creating the cookie background because I couldn't find one in Canva. So what I did is I looked for a cookie, I placed it in a square frame, and I kind of only wanted the center of the cookie because I thought that the, it, it wouldn't blend in as well. So what I did is I created a whole bunch of frames and I put this cookie in there and I kind of resized my cookie by bringing it out and creating multiple frames across. I downloaded that this frame as a transparent a PNG. I brought it back into Canva and then I used the um, edit blurring tool, this one here, to blur those harsh edges. I downloaded that again and I brought it back into Canva and then I created this wall of cookies. Uh, now I wish I could eat one of these cookies right now, but anyhow. Um, so this is the end result of my background. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to go and search for the app. So you can just head over to your app section in your side panel and you can search for an app called Font Frame. Now, if you don't know the exact name, don't worry, just type in font and it'll come up. Here it is right here, Font Frame, I'm gonna click it. And this is what it looks like. And the first thing you're gonna see is this wor word, hello world. And you know, when I first opened it up, I, I was a little confused because I thought this is what I, what I was going to get on my workspace, but this, you know, this orange sunset with this tropical island, I, I, I don't know. But anyhow, um, if we look underneath, uh, we will notice two areas. We'll notice image and text and we'll notice settings. So underneath that, we'll see a section that says that you can cho either choose a file for your clipping mask or you can use the selected image. I've got an image on my desktop, so I'm going to select use selected image. Now, don't worry too much that it's cut off. Um, yes, you probably should have an image that covers your whole workspace, but don't worry. We're going to fix that in just a second. Just hang tight. So. We also have an option to uh, scale the image if we want. So when we toggle this up, the image gets smaller. When we toggle it down, the image gets larger. I'm going to leave it all the way to the bottom. And now I'm going to change the text to say cookie because I want to create a clipping mask out of this cookie and I want it to say cookie. And now you'll notice that there's still a little bit of white here. I didn't notice that before, but I did notice it today when I was preparing this video. You can actually move or slide up your cookie image so that it fills up the entire text, which is really super cool. Um, over on the side ne next to image and text, we have settings. So you'll notice that we also have the option to change the font. I'm going to click that down and I want to find some kind of like a round cookie ish font if that makes sense not sure if I'm going to find something oh this one looks cute Rubik bubbles okay I'm going to choose this one and um, here it is oh that is super cute okay you got to remember that one Rubik bubbles okay underneath the font is alignment and you can center align 
you can left align or, or right align. Now, I've only got one word, so it doesn't make sense for me to, you know, choose any of these really. If I had two words, one underneath another, then yeah, I probably centered might make sense or, or left aligned. Now I also have the option for the outline thickness, but I don't, I don't see an option here for color. So I don't want black, quite honestly. So I think I'm just going to bring that down to zero and not have an outline at all. There's also an option for letter spacing, and I'm going to make it a little bit wider uh, because I'm going to do something with that later. So I'll leave it like that. And there's also an option for line spacing, but we only got one line here. So really, I don't need that. I'm going to now add another page and I'm going to add my design to this page. OK, here we go. So here is our cookie. Which is kind of neat. OK, so now that I have my cookie on here and this pretty much it, this is how you use font frame, but I want to take this a little bit further for you to show you what you can do with this. So if you have the time, continue to be watching here. Before we go any further, I also want to let you know that I have opened up my channel membership. And on one of the levels, which is currently Sterling Silver, I am offering a Canva tutorial series which is almost 50 videos. It's 49 videos. And if you are a beginner or if you are frustrated and you just don't know where to start, I highly, highly recommend that you uh, become a member and go through these videos because you will learn things that you never even knew existed. So anyhow, let's carry on here. With this, now let's go into edit photo. We notice that we have all the options that we normally do with images. And so I want to go into shadows and I want to create an outline. I want to create a white outline. So I'm going to click my outline. I'm going to come down. I'm going to choose white. And I'm going to make it a little bit thicker. So um, I'm just going to just so I can see how thick it is. I'm just going to give it a little bit of color and I'll just leave it at that for now. And I'll just come back and I'll just make that white. Now I do want it 100% white, so I'm going to leave the intensity up. And I'm now going to come back here and I'm going to download this as a transparent. So I only want my page Four. So I'm going to uncheck everything else and only check page four. And I'm going to download that as a PNG transparent. I'm going to create another page and I'm going to bring that design in here. Now, I did have a border around that, even though you can't see it. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take that again. And I'm going to go back into edit photo and I'm going to select shadows again. And again, I'm going to select the outline. And that's kind of what I wanted is I wanted to put a black outline around my cookie. So that's like a cookie sticker. Right. So what's your verdict? Is this a yay or a nay for Canva? Is this an app that you're going to be using? Drop a comment and let me know. And that, my friends, is pretty much it. So don't forget to check out my channel memberships. If you're interested, if you learned anything in this video, don't forget to press the like button and the subscribe so that you're first to be notified when new content comes out. For now, my friends, I will say bye bye until next time.